they're like three different little story that connects in one. So I really, I really looked how I could get to, to fill this space with a lot of feeling. There was more that than once I had this in my head, I pictured where could it start and ends this little bit. So it's structured very, very close to each other. It was very close on the music also, very precise where I want to start, where I want to finish with each of them. It's very physical, all in all it's very physical. I like that anyway for me, but I think for, the dancers, uh, for a dancer it's very important that he, he has something done. I find it's, it's very important to have physicality in it and a little bit of a twist. That I say, I call it like this as a twist, but it's, it's a bit me, a little crazy, a little shift, not so normal period or turn straight. Or, it has to be a little something turned in the body, uh, somewhere you can bend it. And that's how I got to this. And of course the soft part is it's very touchy for me, personally. And I'm very happy to do it. This is very important also. <laughs> For me, it's my very first experience as a conductor in the pit conducting for, for ballet. They work with the, the dancers and the choreographers, they work from specific tempos uh, and the challenge, the really fascinating challenge was to be with the musicians and also not only react but anticipate what dancers might, might do what is on stage. So it's a completely different uh, way of conducting, way of being present and active, receptive. So it was a um, good way of putting everything together so that the, the dancers could really convey uh, what the choreographers had in mind. For me, in a way, rhythmically, it, it, there was no direct connection with the rhythm of the music and of what is on stage. This big contrast makes a very vivid uh, impact, I think, and it makes a very strange feeling, and perhaps, my, that's my guess, that that's the way it creates the, the, uh, the feeling of fear uh, live in the, in the audience. The idea behind is that uh, is to connect with our heart because I almost feel maybe um, at the moment where we find ourselves I feel it's almost I would use the words of epidemic of disconnection from the heart sometimes we have to start from the beginning <laughs> maybe we have to be reborn <laughs> whenever that happens but uh, the confrontation with the truth of the heart that is definitely the, the main reason why I went for this Thing. Yeah. <laughs> so the ego, I let it be blown up, I let it be really big. 
to show the dominant, the, the, the actual almost actual absurdity but with the humor I would like to embrace the human uh, kind so this yin and yang the existing yin and yang so without that ego we would also not come to light <laughs>